Yo, what's good guys? The Boxy Legends back with another video. In this video today, guys, I'm gonna be talking about like features you could add to your part. And in this video specifically, we're gonna be talking about particles and fire and all that. Now let's get into the good stuff. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys how to like add these stuff, like the fire or the particles or like whatever. Let's start now. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add a part to your game, right? We're gonna add this part we're gonna use this as an example and now we're gonna go let me open up my explorer and properties in view what we're gonna do is for how about we, okay now we got the part in now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this I'm gonna show you guys how to add the fire first so follow what I do if you want fire into your part what you gotta do is you gotta go to models over here the model tab and then you could see there's an option for effects over here so you could see that it comes with like a lot of effects for example explosion fire point light smoke this is what I was talking about earlier I'm gonna show you guys how to add the effects and all that so for example if we use fire then you can see that it added a fire to the part basically and yeah it's pretty cool you could also alter the, the settings you could change it around like for example how about we use blue fire like the ones in the Takis film me? I think it was a lighter blue actually, so let's try a lighter blue. And you see now this Loki tough. Now we got fire. And we could also make the fire like bigger or smaller. For example, we could increase the heat to 15. And you can see it's going up higher now. If we do 50. Then you can see it's like it's kind of like going up more it gets like more like steep i guess you could say like more vertical and the max is 25 actually so that's why it didn't go crazy high you could also change like the time scale of like how fast fire spawns for example if it's like at 0.15 it's gonna look like really slow the motion finna look like slow how about we set it like 0.55 that's good you could also change the size to like 15 or like whatever you want this looks kind of good and yeah so this is fire we basically added fire to our map how about we add some other effects how about we try the particle one like I was talking about earlier at the start of the video we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna add particle over here the one that says particle and you can see now you can change these settings too for example we could change the color of the particles how about we make it red this time and you could also change like how big the particles are by doing this. You could change the size to like 0.2. Now you got small ones. You can make it 0.5. And how about we make the spawn like slower? So we're gonna go down here. We're actually gonna change like the lifetime and the spawn. So let's make the rate, aka the spawn over here, like five. And let's make the lifetime like maybe two comma 0.5. So we make it like smaller kind of now it's gonna stop like over here and yeah you could also make it like spread more around for example if you want to make it like spread like a circle you could change the numbers to what you want so look, it starts coming like other ways too and it might take like some time to like actually play around but you can see like it's starting to like go on this side too and something like that okay now we got the fire we got the part the fire and the particles let's do another one shall we we're gonna duplicate the part how about this time we're gonna do let's see what we got actually in fact i think there was point light we could do that real quick let's just do point light because spotlight and surface light is really the same as point light and we gotta set this as nighttime so you could actually see the light so let's do that and you can see now there's a light over here we can make it brighter we can make it like br the brightness like five or three and we could change the rage to like 15 and now basically we just made a lamp that's pretty cool guys let's duplicate it and now let's do another effect how about we do something like let me see how about we do a trail so let's add it to the part and let's see how this works so you can change the transparency and stuff and I think this works when you actually move the part so how about we make the trail green 
And we gotta make this part bigger so like we could actually like move it and stuff. Maybe we could light a car or like ram it or something. So let's add this car in case over here for when we test it. Okay, so now we got the trail. Alright, how about we do one more example? Let's get this part over here. Let's try one more thing that they got. But you can play around with all. Eventually I'll do every tutorial on how to do all this so you guys can actually like get the hang of it. How about this time we try explosion? And you can see an explosion happened. Put in a part. See an explosion happen too, and pretty much I think we gotta script this. So this is really like for scripting, but you can see you can see that an explosion effect happens. You just gotta change like the position and stuff, and then you'll be all set to go. But this up, despite that, let's take a look at what we just made with the effects. I'm gonna go over here. You can see first we got the fire. It's pretty cool. You can make a script that when the player touches the part, they die or lose health. That would be really nice. So the blue fire is nice. We also made red particles, which is pretty cool. You can see over here. We made the light over here. And now this one, I think this is like the trail. And I think you have to script this one too, in fact. So let's try like ramming the car over and see if like it comes naturally. Because some of these note that you have to script. But just know that like after you script it, you'll see the trail and like everything. So let's go back. Now let's drive through and crash into it. And you can see there wasn't really a trail. So you have to script it. And I'll show how to do that in the future. And yeah guys, this is pretty much how to use effects for your Roblox game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video guys.